All right, back here with former world title challenger and former Gennady Golovkin opponent, Gabe Rosado. You heard Eddie and Todd and, Gay and uh, Triple G talking about the possibility of a trilogy fight with yeah. Canelo Alvarez, who of course will fight right here tomorrow night. If yeah. you're Canelo or if you're part of Canelo's team and you watch what we just saw, yeah. what are you thinking about the prospects of fighting Triple G again? Uh, if I'm Canelo right now, I'm thinking about Smith. <laughs> right. You know, he has a he has a challenge tomorrow. So, you know, obviously you want to, you know, you he wants to put on a good performance. He wants to beat Smith because this trilogy fight is a big fight. But, um, you know, Canelo has his hands full tomorrow. Uh, Smith, you know, he's a great fighter, so great champion as well. So we'll see what happens. So Triple G, 38 years old, the layoff, 440 mm -hmm. days, yeah. a lot of speculation of can a fighter that old take that much time off? Yeah. But you said you think the layoff help Triple G, how? Absolutely, I think the layoff um, benefited him because Triple G's already experienced. You know, he's, um, you know he's, been, he's been a champion for years now. He knows what he has to do. He knows how to take care of his body. He's been training, he's been staying sharp. So, you know, a lot of fighters have done this in the past. You know, Floyd Mayweather, long layoff, they come back and they look like they never left. You know, so that's, that's Golovkin, you know, he knows what he's doing. Was there anything that surprised you by Triple G's performance tonight? You know, I was just impressed that, you know, at 38, he, he looked so sharp. You know, he looked like the Triple G of old. You know, he didn't slow down one bit. Well, what's next now for Triple G? He said, hey, uh, I want to do whatever is best for business, best for the fans. Best for business and best for, best for the fans yeah, yeah. is Canelo and Triple G again. A absolutely. You know, but even, even the winner of Canelo and Smith, you know, if, if Smith comes out and pulls that win, which would be huge, then, you know, imagine uh, – Triple G and Smith. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely some options for Triple G now that he is victorious. Yet again, let's get some final thoughts from Todd and Chris, guys. All right, Chris, I'll give you the final word on what we saw here tonight. Compared to what you expected to see from Triple G and what he delivered, what say you? The big drama show is back. I am very excited about what I saw tonight. He, he this is what I wanted. This is what I expected. And he came out, he did he did exactly what he, was, he should have done. He closed the show. He made an exciting fight out of a one-sided fight, so I am uh, I'm excited for what's next for Triple G. And I know you're a big fan of Boo Boo Andrade, and you think that might be just as tough a fight as Canelo, considering from a tactical standpoint. Does Triple G want to risk fighting one of those guys and upsetting the apple cart and not having that mega fight? Stylistically, uh, Boo Boo is a nightmare for everybody. That's why yeah. he's one of the more you know avoided guys in the division. Um, but man, I want to see him get his shot, and I think that would be that fight makes a lot of sense. All right, any fight makes sense for Triple G. Is it Boo Boo Andrade? Is it BJ Saunders? Or is it Canelo Alvarez? Plenty of work for him to do tomorrow, but no more work to do for us. It was a pleasure, as always, my friend. Chris Algieri, ladies and gentlemen, one final time back up to Robert and Gabe. All right, Todd and Chris, great stuff as always. Good to work with you guys as you take a look at the at the ring where Triple G successfully defends his middleweight championship for a record-breaking 21st time. In addition to the live events, remember, you have tons of original programming right here on DAZN on any of the devices, Parallel Worlds, the best 10 seconds, Ryan Garcia, who will be fighting in early 2021 right here on DAZN, and then 40 days, Canelo, against Smith. The focus, of course, tonight was on Triple G, but tomorrow night it will be on Canelo. All right, back here with Gabe Rosado. And Gabe, as we turn our attention, get ready for tomorrow night's fight, Triple G against, I'm sorry, Canelo Alvarez against Callum Smith, live in the Alamo Dome. Just yeah. your final thoughts on what you saw from Triple G tonight. Uh, Triple G looked fantastic, you know, and I'm looking forward to the fight tomorrow with Smith and Canelo, you know, um, Canelo, you know, he's he's a great fighter. He went all the way up to 75 to even beat uh, uh, Kovalev. So I don't think the, the size advantage is uh, so much of, uh, of an advantage for Smith. You know, I think Smith just had to fight a, a disciplined fight, use that jab, and use his range. Yeah, and sometimes he will give up that range. He will give up exactly. his size a little bit. You know, one thing that he did in the rider fight, Smith, what he did in the rider fight is he would cover up and he would hunch down a bit and he'd give up his height and uh, he exposes his body. And I think Canelo is probably the best body puncher in boxing right now. So uh, Smith can't do that in this fight. All right. Well, that will be tomorrow. Gabe, is fun, man. This is fun. Man. Appreciate yeah, it. Gabe Rosado, good luck to you the rest of the way. Thank you, brother. That's Gabe Rosado, rugged middleweight title mm -hmm. contender. Thanks for joining us. That's going to do it for us here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Hollywood, Florida, as Triple G wins again. He is back. The big drama show 
is back. And of course, we have a big fight for you tomorrow night.